Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Magic the Spoilering. I'm Melvin. And I'm Nick. So in this episode, we have 11 spoilers to go through. So let's just like so many it. cards. Oh yeah. So first up, Shambling Vent. New Manland. Oh my god. Uh, bye bye temples. Hello Manlands. Oh yeah. So this for one colorless one, black, one white. It become a 2-3 life linker. So we pretty much called it last time around. Yeah, well... Except um, the flying. Yeah. I thought it had flying. I, again, I think this would just go awesome into control. This is solid. This is gonna go into Esper. This is gonna go into Abzan. Um, I like it a lot. Yeah, me too. Next up, Void Winnower. How odd. Very odd. <laughs> this is when they try to odd the even. <laughs> so Void Winnower is a 9 mana, 11, 9. Pretty big. And your opponents can't cast spells with even costs. And they can't block with creatures with even costs. This is like a school kid just learned how to design a card. It's too mechanical. It's, it. I mean, Josh Tech even called it, um, it feels more like a Fire Exim card than an Eldrazi card. Yeah, that is true. But then again, again, this is kind of one of those like wonky cards that Watsi puts in into you know, every set. This is function over form. If you think about it, the main reason for this card's existence is so that your Eldrazi's will not get charm blocked by tokens. Tokens. And Ugin can be cast to clear the Eldrazi board. Oh my god, they have already like drawn in Ugin. It's so clunky. It's 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 like they were like testing it and they're like, yeah, we keep getting chum block, man. We have to find a solution. <laughs> so yeah, the Vortos in me just doesn't really like the flavor of this card, but I understand why it exists. Yeah, it, it's a powerful card, but again, it's a... Uh... It's so cool and mechanical. It's very odd. It's very, very odd. Next, Next up. up. <laughs> What's not odd is Green Warden of Murasa. Oh my god. Yeah, Eternal Witness 2.0. Uh, 3.0, like... considering 3. that. 4.0, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like huge. It's a huge eternal witness. Not only that it comes into play, you retain a card from your graveyard to your hand, but yeah. when it dies, you can exile it to retain another card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, wow. that means I can loop two green wardens into each other. Uh, you can't. Yeah, I think that's the point. If yeah. not, then it'll be pretty sick. Well, considering how awesome the last eternal witness was, the one with Morph, what's oh, she, yeah, yeah. What's she called? Den Protector. Yeah, like like how awesome Den Protector was. This will rule standard. This one is amazing. I think amazing and standard. My mom first pick in, you know, limited commander players, definitely a staple. Yes. Oh yeah, solid, 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 solid all around. Except limited bomb. Uncommons. Yeah, limited bomb. Hero of Kozilek. So for one blue, one red, and one colorless, you get a Devoid Eldrazi. Two four colorless spells cost one less. Wow. This does exactly what you want in a blue deck. Exactly. You need to hold off the ground. So the fact that it's a two four means you're just gonna be blocking all day long. Two four for three is pretty. Then allows you to ram into your biggest spell. Definitely a solid pick for limited if you're going the Eldrazi route and. I can see this playable in standard as well. I can see this playable in commander. You it's, know what's funny? Uh, most likely, you're gonna be using your Eldrazis to ramp into your Ugins. <laughs> How oh. ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Catacomb Sifter. Another Eldrazi. So for one colorless, one black and one green, you get another Devoid 2-3. When enters the battlefield, you get a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi sign creature. And whenever another creature you control dry, dies, scry one. This Solid. is another limited Pretty bomb. Uh, this is a build around. It reminds me of that um, Abo guy that we had two days ago. Oh, Abomination. Yes, yes, yes. Smothering Abomination. Smothering Abomination, yeah. Ooh. That and this. Oh my god! Scry! And then I get to draw a card. Yeah, I get to scry first, then. I like that card, I'll draw it. Yeah, oh, uh, this perfect. is another strong, um, what you want to call it, signal for you to go into Eldrazi if, if it comes late. Well, it looks like, you know, like uh, Eldrazi can either go like Sultai route or, you know, can go the Jun route. Or like, even the, the Greek route. route. Yeah, or pretty even... strong. Wow, yeah, pretty strong. Looking forward to drafting. Next up, Dranas Emissary. So for one colorless, one black and one white, you get a 2-2 two -two flying vampire, cleric, ally. And at the beginning of your upkeep, each of opponent loses one life and you gain, gain one life. Again, in multiplayer and commander, I think it's a shoe in for, you know, like these type of decks. It's pretty strongly limited as well. It, it makes me think um, there's no black white vampires on Zendika. Mm -hmm. Where the hell is Sorry? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Um, as well, the fact that he has three creature types makes me think, after Zendika, are we going back to a tribal set? Oh my god. <laughs> you got my Bulu Romas all up, man. Bulu Romas. <laughs> Tony Romas. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to that, actually. Looking forward to that. Inter-Synergy, come on. Yeah, inter-block synergy. So, oh, yeah. uh, that aside, this is a solid uh, card as well. Yeah, solid for me as well. Next up, Sky Rider Elf. Not solid. Not everything can so be solid. So for X, today. green and blue, you get a flying 0-0 zero, zero Elf Warrior ally with Converge. And the best you can get is a 2-2 two, two for 2 flying, I guess? Yeah, I mean, um, over the past few days, I've been a champion of Converge. But it's slowly dawning onto me that Converge might be shit after all. 
That's what I think is a pretty solid limited card. Though. Although, if you think about it, the last time we had a, a blue green two two flyer, it kind of ruled the Pro Tour. Mm. Of course, granted that was invasion in like what 2001, 2002. Well, th this one can actually uh, go alongside you know like Mantis Rider because Mantis Rider is a three three four three, but you know Mantis Rider has more mm. upsides. The way that I think about it, in a Sultai deck, this is a three three flyer. In a Temu deck, this is a three three flyer. So three mana, three three flying. Yeah, is it they're, they're still no good in a world of Mantis Rider? Uh, yeah, definitely no standard application. I setting. mean, I mean, yeah, the Sky Folk, uh, Sky Shroud Elf was it? She was uh, a blue green two two flying. Gaya Sky Folk. Gaya Sky Folk, yeah. She was awesome because because back then in two thousand one, <laughs> two mana two two flying was awesome. Now it's two thousand fifteen, and you have shit like Mantis Rider. So it's a pass. Yeah, unlucky. Next up, Resolute Blade Master. So, a human soldier ally for three colorless, one red and one white, you get a 2 2 with rally when it or another ally enters the battlefield. All creatures you control, all creatures you control get double strike. This is a bomb. This is the one that another I've been bomb. waiting for. Oh my god, this one the follow up with a uh, follow up from Munda. <laughs> yeah, the, the red white ally deck seems to look pretty awesome right now. Red white allies, I think limited awesome. Naya allies in limited awesome. Standard application, I think is a bit too expensive. I need it more is. allies that is one casting cost to three casting yeah. costs. Yeah, we need to ramp it up, you know, to to the five casting cost. Ada houses. free blade, Chuck Norris, where are you? So Chuck Norris, looking please. forward to that. Please come back, Kavira Avenger. <laughs> Ada free blade, exactly. Good blade master. <laughs> Licked hadron structure, or you know, this is what the translated name is. Yeah. It's a four casting cost artifact. Comes into play, you exile all creatures with power five or greater until it leaves the battlefield. Wow. I thought this was this was a fake card, and um, I still think I still can't believe it's real. This this like Trump's uh, detention sphere. Granted, I mean like you you know the one one tokens and all you can't get rid of those, but it's colorless. It's I it's a colorless it's solution such, to the Eldrazi. Such a bomb against the Eldrazi, and it's such a bomb against you know like those who are playing with counters. You know you've got like a mass of like five five guys on the battlefield. I but, mean, how uh, ironic is it that the answer to the Eldrazi is also colorless? Yes. Ironic man. They probably won't be playing this. No, but imagine if I'm playing a Winnie deck, if I'm playing an ally deck, or I'm playing mono red, or I'm playing mono green, and I need an answer against all these 11 nines and 6 6 vigilances. And oh, but you'll be sad boom. though, because this one doesn't get rid of Siege right now. Well, you can't have everything. <laughs> Next up. Exit yeah. influence. So for 4 colorless and 1 blue, you get a sorcery, converge, gain control of target creature with its power equal or less than the number of colors you spend on converge. It can't even steal a f Eldrazi. It's just, it's trash. It's, it's a bulk rare. Compare this yeah. against the first version of gain control, uh, control magic. Control magic was too blue and too colorless. Uh, granted, it was an enchantment, but you know... Uh, control magic is way better. Just pass. Just if pass. something from 1993 is better than the most recent iteration, it must be pretty shit. Bulk rare. Bulk rare. Next. Bulk rare. Next up. Yeah. So here we have our last card of the day, mm. a reprint of the Dark Sovereign. Quite surprised that it's not Mythic. Well, I think it would, if they actually reprinted it in Mythic, it will lose it. The you know the original Zendikar one will lose its charm. I guess yes. so. Yeah. Uh, it's still pretty solid at rare. It's a limited powerhouse, and you still get vigilance, life link, four six for you know four, and once we hit you know, forty life during your upkeep, you win the game. This is a bombing commander. It's a bombing commander, definitely. Standard applications, not so much. I'm just wondering where's the hero of Gomafada? Wasn't the hero Gomafada riding a, a Felida Sovereign? Probably a normal Felida. Okay, so it's not a 4 6 Felida then? That's why he was a 3 3. Mm. That's why he's Gomafada. <laughs> so that's it for our spoilering this week. Stay tuned next week for more Magic the Gathering Battle for Zendikar spoilers. So this has been Magic the Spoilering. I'm Alvin. And I'm Hipster Nick. Hipster Nick, signing off.